so to explain you the data scientist data analyst and uh, data engineer let's start with my own company apna travel so started with my own company which is uh, apna travels a new startup okay so uh, now in apna travels we have some hotels consider we have seven hotels on apna travels okay and for all the hotels we have some fixed prices okay for some hotels we have some fixed prices now after launching this company and having fixed prices on each hotels we are facing a major losses because all the other company which are competitor of my apna travels they are having the dynamic pricing system okay so we come up with the approach to introduce the dynamic pricing in that hotel so if you are not aware about the dynamic pricing so consider we have 750 rupees for some hotel on 15th of jan okay so now depending upon the demand depending upon the situation the prices might go down the prices might go up so that is called the dynamic pricing we have dynamic pricing in uh, flights hotels so all the companies are using the dynamic pricing dynamic pricing system now okay so after bearing so many losses for more than 2 months what we thought we thought to introduce the dynamic pricing in our system okay so now after hiring the data scientists now we want to build some machine learning model which will predict the prices for each and every hotel so that we can increase the profit also okay so what what were expectations after this feature profit should go up okay and the customer should also get satisfied okay so what we are planning to do this like whenever there is a huge demand we will increase the price like this okay so whenever there is a huge demand we will increase the price and whenever there is a less demand we are expecting the less demand we will reduce the price okay so the average price we give to the hotel that will be also good and the average profit we will get that will be also more than what we were getting earlier okay so now data scientist demands that we need data okay so data data scientist build already all the basically whatever the model they want to build but they need data a good amount of data in some specific format now data scientist ordered just keep in mind the word ordered why i was saying ordered okay so data scientist ordered data engineer to basically give them the data in some specific format so what data engineer did they created some data table for data scientists that they will be using with their model okay now all the data in this table will be inserted from some big data in the warehouse okay depending upon the requirement of data scientists they will be creating a table according to that okay so they will be creating some pipeline okay just remember the word pipeline to sync the data which is present in the warehouse to the table which will be used by the data scientist okay so what is the task of data engineer here to build the type pipelines which will sync the big data to other teams to use for some specific feature okay so this is the task of data engineer now what data scientist will do they will basically build a machine learning model they will build some model and by which they will predict the price of that day or whatever uh, prediction they want okay so that is the role of data scientist so data scientist will be dealing with machine learning and all those things and data engineer will be dealing de dealing with the some tech which will be used for building these pipelines like hadoop okay now after launching that feature i am i have been replaced by the position of the ceo a new ceo comes in and they wants to just analyze whether we are in the profit after the launch of this feature or we are in the loss okay so they instructed data analyst to basically analyze the feature and whether we are in profit after this dynamic pricing or we are in loss okay so what data analyst will do they will they just need a table they just need some data to do some analysis on the top of that and predict some graphs to tell whether we are in profit after this feature or not so now who will give this data data engineers data engineers will again build a pipeline depending upon the requirements of the data analyst okay then they will again build a pipeline they will again build a table depending upon the requirement of the data analyst so that data analyst can use the data and predict something whatever is the requirement here okay now here data analyst will request data engineer to build a pipeline and here i told you they ordered and here i told you they requested why i told you this is because of the level so i told you in the video in the, in the starting of the video that i will be telling you about the salary compensation part so here you can directly judge who is at the top in the hierarchy and who is in the middle and who is at the below and bottom in the hierarchy 
so basically by this way uh, data analysts analyze the results and yes our company is in profit we can say hurray now now let's analyze the basically salary compensation part also so uh, for the data analyst they are at the bottom of these three okay so data analyst compensation is 6 lpa uh, on an average in india and for the data engineer that comes in the middle for them it's 10 lpa and uh, for data scientist if we see so it's uh, around 12 lpa average in india okay so this depends uh, this vary on the company also depending upon the year of experience also but i am considering you started your career so that is the average that you will be getting now in data scientist you should knowing the tech machine learning and all those things in data engineer you should be knowing the pipelines uh, the tech required for the pipeline like hadoop and all those for the data analyst you should be needing the sql the good sql skills and some tools which is used for uh, analysis part that is analytical tools okay so yeah so i hope uh, all your doubts are covered now and if you have any more doubts you can just ping in the comment section also and tell me how much you like the video whether you still have any doubts or not okay and thank you for watching this video and saving my company that is apna travels okay and uh, soon we will be launching an ipo also and creating some video for that this is first fun only okay there is no company no real company exist like this i think i think don't uh, my real company doesn't exist but yeah might be some company with the uh, apna travels might be existing uh, now okay so tell me uh, how much you like the video you you can read um, the video in my telegram channel okay and uh, if you still have any doubt just ping me uh, in my linkedin or wherever you want and um, if you are new to the channel then you are missing very important opportunity that is from the nidan school so nidan school is offering very good opportunity that is for study abroad program so this is the flexible duration program that you can complete in 3 months 6 months or in a year and there is a flexible emi options also so just go and check out about this opportunity link will be there in the description and uh, let's meet in the next video and tell me uh, more topics on which you want me to create the video till then bye bye